He says, many people in my culture, after the parents go and see a woman for their son, they come back and discuss about that lady's features with almost all the family members. Like they say, her nose is fat, she's fat, she's short, etc. Is this backbiting? First of all, this is a cultural error and a sin. First of all, because unfortunately I've talked to some of the people, even to some of the da'is from such cultures, who insisted to meet the girl. And I said to him, who's getting married, you or your son? He said, no, my son is getting married, but I have to interview the girl. He said, subhanAllah, this is not from the Sharia. This is not definitely from the Quran or from the Sunnah. Nowhere it was found in Islam. Where are you guys getting these things from? Either you're following Sharia or you're following your whims and desires. And without any doubt, this is following the whims and desires. In what religion is the father of the to be groom goes and meets the girl and sits with her and interviews her isn't he a male doesn't he have desires she's not his daughter-in-law yet what happens if he likes her what happened if she likes him why do we have hijab so People are drifting away from Islam. And they never ask themselves, are we following Sharia or our whims and desires? Because they know the answer is going to be definitely whims and desires. Though if you ask everyone on earth, among the Muslims, what do you want to follow? Sharia or whims and desires? Definitely 100% would say Sharia. They don't have any other choice. If they say otherwise, this means that they don't want Islam. But when you implement this rule, this question, and cascade it to their lives, you'll find that 90% of them are not practicing. They're not implementing Sharia in their lives. They don't want it because it goes against their whims and desires and uh, culture and traditions and the things they want. This is point one. Point two when they come back home, talk to a girl who is a Muslim, falls under back biting. Because the Prophet said, alayhi salatu wasalam, in definition of backbiting, it is mentioning your Muslim individual, brother or sister, with something he hates. So when the mother talks to her daughters, the daughters are not getting married. They, she talks to the, her daughters and say, oh, she's short, she's too tall, she's too thinny, uh, she's fat, she's b white, she's dark, she's ugly, she has pimples in her face, she has this, she has that. All of this is backbiting. And she's sinful and all those sitting with her. Now, if she's sitting with her son, who's interested in marrying. And she talks about him to describe her to him so that if he likes what he hears, he goes and proposes. That's not backbiting. This is totally halal, but it has to be one-to-one, -one, not with her husband around, not with other sons or daughters who are not involved in this selection issue. It's the boy who's interested. So she says to him, She's fair, she's beautiful, uh, but I don't like the way she speaks. Uh, she's a little bit loud. She, her hair is uh, too soft. There are no curls in it, this and that. Yes, this is okay because the boy is buying. So we have to market the product. And the same thing happens when the father or the mother of the, of the girl talk to her and say to her, the boy has this, the boy has that. The boy doesn't have this, the boy doesn't have that. This is not backbiting, it's only to help her make her mind and Allah Azza wa Jal 
knows best.